So for this video, I'm going to do these two. I'm going to show you how I painted these. Um, okay, let's talk about this one. This one, um, I did a combination of like a mauve color, a light blue, and a champagne white. Um, the mauve color, I'm calling it mauve. I always thought that that's what color mauve was. Um, I looked up mauve recently just to see, and it was more of a purple color, mauve. Um, but I'm going to call this mauve. So how I got that mauve color was I mixed bright red, amethyst, and then um, a, just like one little drop of wild grapes. So it's just another, like a purple. And I mixed it together, and that's what I got. Um, and that's pretty much what I was looking for. So I was happy with that. Um, and then I use ice blue, which is a metallic paint. And then I use champagne, um, which is like an off white. And I think that that color combination turned out very pretty. Um, and then for this one, I used, which I love too. I'm really into the copper thing right now. It's beautiful. Um, copper, antique copper as a matter of fact. Um, Calypso Sky is the turquoise color. It's a really nice thick um, paint. The enamels, it really stays put and that's what you need um, when painting on ornaments or spheres. Um, blue Sapphire and that's a metallic paint. And then I used a multi-surface white paint which is also really good and thick. Um, and that's how that turned out. So if you are interested in seeing how to paint um, these two, then keep watching. Okay. So I'm starting off with a wooden dowel. Um, it's about a 13 millimeter. And I'm putting the mauve paint right in the middle of the ornament. And I moved to a five and a half millimeter crochet hook and I'm using the ice blue. And I go in a crisscross. And then I just put one in between each of those. So there will be eight in total around the main dot. Back to the mauve color, and this is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. Here I'm using my, um, my biggest nail stylus. Uh, ball, and I'm going with um, champagne is the color. And you just want to start at the edge of the um, mauve dot and start in the middle and then walk it around each side. Um, and then I re dot the center dot just to keep the dots even. Kind of looks like a flower there. <laughs> okay, I am putting um, a five millimeter dot of blue right in the divot there. Um, all the way around. And then I'm using um, a medium sized stylus and I'm putting a dot of the same ice blue on either side of the larger blue dot. I'm just using um, a tall glass and some bubble wrap to hold the uh, ball in place. 
Okay, here's the same five and a half millimeter crochet hook, and I'm going um, with the mauve color, and I'm going right in between each of these small dots there of the, the last color that I did, the blue ice or ice blue. And now I'm using my smallest wooden dowel. Um, I would say it's about a three and a half millimeter. And I'm going um, with mauve on each side of the larger dot. Okay, and this is the five and a half millimeter crochet hook, and it's champagne is the color. And I'm going around in between each of the two smaller mauve dots. And I don't know what happened to the video there, but I um, went on and moved to a four millimeter crochet hook, and I just put um, a dot on either side all the way around um, with the same champagne color. So you want to make sure it's really good and dry before you try to layer. It just makes the biggest difference. I'm going with the champagne color. And I'm putting it on right on top of the center dot. It's with the 9mm crochet hook. So it just leaves a little ring of the pink behind it. And I'm doing the same with the, uh, the mauve ring all the way around. And that is with a 5.5 crochet hook. And then I'm also going to touch on the just the larger mob dot on the third ring there. I guess it's the second ring. And I don't do the smaller dots to either side. I just do the one larger in the middle. And that's with champagne. Okay, now I switch to mob. And I'm kind of just doing the opposite colors. Um, the very bottom row, the larger dot in the middle, the larger uh, champagne dot, I am dotting with the mauve color. And that's a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And I just leave a little bit of a ring. Okay, I've went back to the blue, nice blue, with a 9mm crochet hook, and it's going to be um, right in between each of the small champagne dots. So we're just alternating colors. So I will put the mauve on top of the white and the white on top of the mauve. And then I'm going to go back with um, the same colors again. In just a minute. Um, okay, so here I am using um, an 11.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm going right in between each of the... Um, blue dots with just a larger blue dot. Here is an 8 millimeter crochet hook and I'm going to just dot that center dot again.
and I'm using a 4mm for shape up to dot the first row of dots there with the alternating mauve and white colors. And you can keep building these up if you wanted to, but um, I stopped at that point. Okay, I'm putting um, a dot of champagne right on the inner edge of the first blue ring there. And I'm using my largest stylus. Back to the smallest wooden dowel, which is about a three and a half millimeter. And it's the champagne color. And I'm putting one dot on the second row of blue on just the larger dots there. So that one's finished there. On to the next. Okay, this is called Antique Copper, and that's how I'll start with the center circle there. It's a 11.5 millimeter crochet hook. I like to swirl off the little tip. Um, it's Pretty important to do that when you're layering and you know you're going to be layering. You need to try to get that um, a little smoother. It's never going to be perfectly smooth, but that does seem to help to swirl it a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going with a, um, it is a blue sapphire and it's a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And I'm just making an crisscross around the center dot and then again I will just put one right in between each of those for a total of eight around the center dot I'm using my smallest um, nail stylus ball and putting um, white multi-surface paint um, just a small dot in between each of those blue dots. And this is called Calypso Sky, and it is an enamel paint. It's a very nice paint. Um, that is a 9mm crochet hook that I'm using there, and I'm just going right in between each of the blue on the, on the outside there with that and then I'm swirling that center point off again. When you start layering that's where you really get your good fine detail and it's it really makes for a very pretty uh, end result. Okay so I'm going back with the antique copper and I start at the very edge of the uh, Calypso Sky turquoise color and I dot it once and then I walk down the one side and then I dot it again on the main dot there and then I'll walk down the other side. And that just helps keep the dots nice and even. all the way around and it gives it that flower look. Okay, here I'm using um, my smallest wooden dowel and I would say it's about a three and a half millimeter uh, in diameter. And I'm going with the blue sapphire paint and I'm just going down in the divot of the little bridge there all the way around.
Okay, this is my largest um, nail stylus ball, and I'm kind of walking up backwards um, from that dot that I just made in the little divot, and I'm walking up to the point. So the dots are getting smaller up to the point, so it's kind of a backwards way to do it. But it just breaks up the pattern a little bit, and it looks really nice. Alright, I'm going to put a white um, dot there with a 9mm crochet hook in between each of those um, last sapphire blue divots. And then just swirl that around, try to get that point off. I've tried a couple different things. I've tried, I've tried uh, jabbing it with my finger and using uh, the little ball usually does the best. Um, okay, that is a, a five and a half um, millimeter crochet hook, and that's going to be the copper, and I'm on one dot right in between each of the big white dots. And I'm using my largest nail stylus here, and I've switched back to the Calypso Sky. I kind of like to alternate the colors going out. Also, um, in somewhat of a pattern, I try not to have the same color twice um, next to each other. I like to try to break it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go um, just a dot right on the outside edge of the white dot and then I walk it down one side and then I dip it and then I redot that same dot the main dot and then I walk it down the other side and sometimes you can fit a couple more and sometimes you have to just squeeze in a, a couple but it makes for a pretty end result and um, you're usually the only one that notices <laughs> So don't really worry about it. It'll be pretty. Okay, this is my very smallest nail stylus, and I um, went with white. And I'm just going to touch right on top of the copper dots in the middle there, and then walk one or two on each side. Touching the middle dot again as I come back around. I've been trying to speed these um, certain sections of these videos up for you. Okay. Well, that is my largest nail stylus, and I'm going with copper. I'm going to do the same process that I just did with the white. I'm going right on top of the white with the copper. Okay, I'm going with a 9mm dot of white, and I'm just going to dot right on top of the copper in the middle, just leaving a little ring of copper around the edge. This is where I start the layering. You want to really make sure your bulb is good and dry for this. Um, and again, try to swirl off the little point, the nail stylus. That is a 5.5mm crochet hook. I'm going to dot um, the sapphire blue right to the inner edge of the calypso blue all the way around. Then 
that is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook and I'm going to the inner edge of the bigger uh, white circles with a dot of copper all the way around and I swirl off the little point I love these colors I think they're, they're beautifully together all right that is my smallest wooden dowel that I found at Walmart it was about a yard long and I just cut it down um, to sizable pieces to work with and it's about a three and a half millimeter um, around and it I'm using uh, the white I'm going right on top of the little copper dots and this is my smallest nail stylus and I'm putting a dot right in between the two bridges of the um, the copper where they've been walked down let's just put a dot right there between the blue sapphire and the copper right down the divot alright I let that dry I'm coming back with um, my smallest wooden dowel about three and a half millimeter white dot on the inside of the blue sapphire Okay, that's Calypso Blue with the largest nail stylus, and I'm just dotting it right on the inner side of um, each of the uh, sapphire blue ring. And I've switched to a six and a half millimeter crochet hook, and I'm going to dot right on top of the middle there on the white. So it just leaves a copper ring, a white ring, and then a copper. swirl that little copper tip off and there you have it here's another one it's just slightly different it's got the calypso blue in the center there of the uh, middle row well that's it for this video here again are the final products I hope you like them if you do like them, um, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below, and I will uh, get back to you. Also, you can find me on Facebook, um, Facebook at sign how to paint dot mandalas. And thanks for watching. See you next time.